Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, hello, welcome, thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be my third update for my Pan Those Shadows project. I did start this project last year, but was really, really bad at updating, so this year I'm going to try to update you guys a little more frequently. I didn't roll in new palettes for the year and whatnot, I'm just keeping it with the same list I've been working from the beginning. So the idea of this project is just to hit pan on eyeshadows in the palettes that I am drawing. I'm just going through with my collection using a random number generator. I'm gonna have five palettes at a time. And once I hit pan on a shade, I can roll that shade out since that is the goal for this project. But I'm also allowing myself to roll out one shade, technically like the whole palette I'd be rolling out, but I'm allowing myself to roll one of those out as well if I've surpassed the 10 uses on it, but don't think I'm gonna get much more use or anything from it, just so that I'm not working on one shade for so long that I'm going to hit like 100 uses before I show any progress and stuff, so. But yeah, I hope that makes sense. I will have my Project Pan playlists down below with this in it, my 10 uses and everything, so that'll all be down below if you guys want some more panning content from me. If you guys would like to see the current progress and what I will be keeping in and what I will be rolling out, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I do have all of these shades on my eyes. I wanted to try and do a look using all of them for you, so the first palette we have is the Kaleidos Astro Pink palette. This one, at the last update, I had 16 uses on it, and right now I'm at 21 uses, and I will insert a picture. I did take pictures from my phone so that you guys could hopefully see the usage on them a little bit better, but it's just a really great neutral transition shade for me, and even though I've used it 21 times, I think I want to roll out one of the other shades, so I will swatch this one just so we can keep the swatches of what we are working with on my hand. That is the Kaleidos shade right there in Lunar, and this is what I have all up in my transition area on my eye. Another palette that is staying in this project is the Smashbox Cover Shot. So this one we have this first little shimmer shade to work on. I have used this a total of five times, and it is my inner corner highlight. It's nothing too metallic or anything. It's just a very soft, sheeny, brightening type shade. A very nice shade to brighten the inner corner. It's not too, like, intense and metallic where it looks very like textured and chunky but yeah we we still have a bit of ways to go with this one before it's going to show any progress i think so and these two together i feel like would be a very good little basic eye with like a winged liner or something so i might just do this for an easy day one that we will be rolling out is the ColourPop yes please palette the shade in here we have is big cocktails and you guys can see that little bit of pan in the center i'm not sure if it's just because this palette's a little bit older and it's become more powdery but i feel like i went through it really really quick. So I would go in with something like the Morphe M506 and really focus it in the center but I feel like even just taking it with a little bit of pressure in the pan it was getting a lot of kick up so I feel like I used up a lot that way because I would just swirl it a little bit and there'd be so much powder that I mean I wasn't going to close it and have the powder get everywhere so I would like kick off the powder. With only using it six times, I mean I know it's an older palette that I've had for a while so I would have had some use on it before because I used to use this palette so much but I still feel like I went through it pretty quickly. I do have this all over my lower lash line and I did have it all over my lid at first because I wasn't sure if I was going to use all the shades or not. I was like maybe I'll go with an all matte eye so I had this all over my lid but then I was like you know what we're going to try to use all the shades in here so yeah. <laughs> We will be rolling this one out, so six uses to hit pan. Very, very interesting for me. So then we have the Tarte Tartlet palette, and in here we have the shade Power Player, and this one is on my outer corner. It did get covered up by the green a little bit, but I've used the shade 11 times. I've used it to contour and shade my body paint. I've used it on my eyes, and it barely looks like I've made a dent in this. I, I don't know. I feel like I might keep this one in just because with these two shades specifically, I can do a lot of just shading without being too dark of an eye look. I mean, I've mainly focused it on the center, so like the Tarte logo is pretty much gone. It's just, it's pigmented, it's easy to blend though, but it's not like overly pigmented. Ugh, I think it's just a really good contoury color for, you know, your eyes or for my body paints. I'm just surprised, like, how little pan shows in here, where I've used this 11 times and I've used this 6 times, and I think I've had this palette even longer. 
It's just very interesting to see how different palettes you can use up quicker than others. We are going to be rolling out the shade in the Nubian 2 palette. It is the dark green that is all over my eyes. I have used this a total of 15 times, so I used it three more times than I did in the last update. And even though I'm very curious on how long it'll take to hit pan on a Juvia's Place eyeshadow, I feel like I'm just going to be working on for forever because each time I've used it, I've used it pretty much going all over my lid. I've used it on my lid and my lower lash line at the same time, just trying to get use out of this shade. And you can still see the little bit of a dent in there, but it's such a big pan. They're so pigmented and everything that I feel like I'm just going to be working on this for like two years before I can hit pan, unless it's the only shade I'm ever using. And I just have so many eyeshadow palettes that that's not realistic for me. So I am going to be rolling this one out as well. So these are the two palettes we will be rolling out. And I'm going to go put these away, get my number generator, and we'll go through and pick the next two palettes we will be rolling in. All right, so I've got palettes 1 through 116 in my pretty random app here. And again, all my palettes are alphabetical. After I've done a ranking video, I go ahead and alphabetize the spreadsheet again, and then everything I've brought in since is just going to be at the bottom. And then once I do a ranking video, I'll alphabetize it again. So the numbers can change, so say I drew palette 5, because that was one of the palettes I've already had in here, it could be a completely different palette, or say I draw palette number 3 and it ends up being the same palette that was originally palette number 5 the first time I did this. I hope that makes sense. But we're going to go ahead and randomize and we're going to pick palette number 70, which is the Kaleidos Sci-Fi Green. And then we've got palette 44, which is the Glam Light Donut. Alright, so here is the Sci-Fi Greens palette from Kaleidos. If you guys haven't seen this for some reason, this will be so fun to have two Kaleidos palettes in here. Both of them were sent to me from Becca, so thank you, Becca, if you were watching this. Y'all know this is my kind of color story, so I'm glad we rolled out that Juvia's Place green because of rolling in these greens. So there are six shades in here. So for this palette, we're going to go with shades one through shades six. We're going to change the number generator from 116 to 1 to 6. I'm going to hit randomize. 44 is definitely not 1 to 6. Why is it doing that? Let's try this again. 1 through 6. This ain't working. Okay, one, two, six, and there we go. We got shade number five. So we rolled shade number five. We've got this dark matte green right here. Well, it's not too dark, but like the mid-tone matte green. And that shade I'm pretty sure is called ET because I'm pretty sure this is dark side. We've got this shade right there. So pretty. Cannot wait to have this all over my eyes. All right, so then here is the donut palette. We're going to say this is shade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then shade 10, which is the highlighter in the middle, but highlighter, eyeshadow, either way. And this one I feel like is going to be the trickiest for me because <laughs> they're very bright shades. So let's see. We've got shade number 9. This is shade number 9. But guys, I really don't wear these kinds of pinks, so... <laughs> I, I really want to re-roll, but I know that's going to be cheating. That's just going to be such a hard shade for me to hit pan on unless I start doing like body paints with people who have pink in their um, outfits and stuff. So, all right guys, so that was it for my pan those shadows update number three. Let me know what you guys think of this color story right here. How much faith do you have in me to hit pan on any of these shades? Um, which one do you think I'm going to hit pan on first? Let me know. And yeah, I'm going to keep this pretty short because the project itself is pretty self-explanatory. If you guys have Pan Those Shadows projects, let me know down below. I would love to go check out your progress. And yeah, if you guys like the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the little bell notifications so you guys know every single time that I upload. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!